Whoa, was you in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Missing spouses, stairs versus pedestrian, and all of the reasons you shouldn't sniff glue. Get ready to laugh and hopefully learn a little, as today we are back at it, breaking down and reacting to all of the creative and medical scenes and messed up injuries from Family Guy. All right, let's dive right in. Whoa, was you in the bathroom? <laughs> The biggest thing I can think about in this situation is not, you know, two adults, but when sometimes you have a newborn and you put the baby in the bed. From my experience as a physician, it's probably not the smartest thing to do. Maybe consider using a bassinet in the bed or next to your bed. Well, Mrs. Griffin, you have three crushed ribs, but I was able to stop the internal bleeding. The rib could cause bleeding for multiple reasons. You can have some bleeding from the rib itself. You can have bleeding from the blood vessels that run under underneath every rib that we have, or the rib could actually puncture the lung, it could puncture the spleen or the liver. The rib fractures are horrible, they're very painful. You can't really brace them because you can't stop somebody from breathing because it'll decrease the amount of air that's moving, which increases your risk of getting pneumonia and an infection. No, we don't. He practically smothers me every night. Well, are you hogging the blankets? No. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the like, hey, try to figure out why he might be smothering her at night. I would think of two things. Either don't sleep in the same bed for a short period of time or have like a barrier up when you go to sleep. And if he's not smothering me, he's keeping me up all night writing with that giant plume of his. Dearest Augustine, I think this latest damp has not aggravated your gray lung. Why would a, a feather pen or a plume keep somebody up at night? I do not know. But him being up at night with a light on, having lights on definitely messes with your ability to go to sleep. That's why they say, you know, don't you know sleep with the TV on. Don't use your devices before you go to sleep. It has to do with the input that you're giving into your brain saying, oh, it's, it's light out. Let me stay more awake and be more focused. Aggravated your gray lung. Dip, 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 dip. Dr. Hartman called about my x rays. He said my spine is now disfigured. Ah, okay, so typically a spine that becomes disfigured is potentially from muscle spasms, obviously fractures, but a fracture causing the, the spine to be so disfigured would also have significant other implications, compressing nerves, not having other functions of your body parts. Well, I'm off to buy imaginary groceries. Oh! I see people that come in after falling down one stair versus like the whole flight of stairs. People will say, I fell down the stairs and will always ask wooden stairs, concrete stairs, carpeted stairs, how many stairs? It actually really helps to know the mechanism and what the surrounding environment was like. Obviously you wanna check on them. You don't wanna move them too quickly. You actually want to stabilize their C-spine because if you roll them, their head's gonna stay or move in one position or the other. And if they have a cervical fracture, you might do more harm. I don't know. God, you idiot, this is your fault. And obviously he's unconscious at this point. So call 911 and don't yell at each other. It doesn't matter. What do we do? Is he breathing? It, it looks like it. That's a good sign, right? Oh. Oh, look at that nice laceration to his scalp. Instantly, if somebody has brain trauma and they're starting to vomit, bad sign. Could be due to pain, also could be due to brain swelling. In an instance where you lose consciousness, you're vomiting, and you're altered, you definitely want to CT scan that head. All right, he's not waking up. I think we got to take these bandages off and see what we're dealing with here. So at least they put bandages. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Are you kidding me? We got flies around the bandages. We need to get this kid to the hospital ASAP. Oh crap. You smell that? That's brain smell. I'm assuming this is open skull fracture where you see brain matter. You need to get to the hospital ASAP. The brain is so delicate. The tissue of the brain is so frail that it feels soft and spongy and it could get injured really easy. Oh! <gasps> That is horrible and awful. Somebody comes to the hospital with open pieces of the brain. Obviously our job is to stop the bleeding. We'll probably put wraps around it that are actually wet. That way the gauze doesn't actually stick to that area. You're gonna get a CT scan of the brain. You're gonna call a neurosurgeon and you're gonna transfer if you're not at a trauma center to a trauma center. Hey, you're a good swimmer, go get it. What? But dad. And for God's sake, do not be afraid to make me a sandwich while you're in there. Oh my gosh. Get out of the house. Risk of electrocution with all the appliances. 
is. It's just a dangerous situation. Get out of there. You don't know what might be lurking in the water. Different infections could occur in situations where there's stagnant water. She's in there right now, taking a nap underwater. For God's sake, save her! My God, we better get her to a hospital. Oh my gosh. Okay, possibly a near drowning. So drowning versus near drowning. Near drowning means that you almost succumb to your injuries due to water. Drowning means that you have died. Good, protect the head. But if she's not breathing, you need to be doing CPR. Mouth to mouth. There are instances where you do hands only CPR. But in this instance, you're trying to clear the airway of the water and get it out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, I'm afraid your coma's in a daughter. I mean, I mean, I mean, your daughter's in a coma. Oh my gosh, sometimes as doctors, we just say the wrong things at the wrong time. If you go in the emergency department and you're not breathing due to water, you're gonna have CPR. And now you worry about secondary effects of all the fluid that were in the lung it can cause a significant amount of edema, swelling, also can cause reshifting of fluids and electrolytes. Well, I am gonna change. You hear me, Meg? If you come out of this, I am gonna treat you like a princess for the rest of your life. So very interesting. Peter talking to Meg bedside. I literally tell patients to do that. They'll ask, you know, can the you know, patient hear me? Do they know? I don't know 100% of the time. A lot of times individuals who have been sedated will tell us that they do remember certain events. Oh, waking up. Nice. Well, hello, sleepyhead. A lot of times patients, family members want to stay in the hospital, sleep in the hospital. There are kind of rules about that, unless it's a situation potentially where it's like life and death. And the reason for this is the staff is there to take care of a patient. And if there's a lot of extra people, it reduces the care that they end up getting. Model glue, sir. Well, what do we have today? Today, we have a recent vintage procured just this morning from Michael's Hobby Shop. Yes, that's very nice. <laughs> Bring me my finest rag. Your fancy rag, sir. You are relieved for the evening. <gasps> what? That is so messed up. Oh my gosh. That is awful. Sniffing glue, sniffing, huffing, bagging. These all, you know, fall under the, a very similar category. And it is so bad for us. It could be an acute bad, it could be long-term bad, but what ends up happening is you can cause brain damage, brain death. You're going to cause issues where the myelin sheath, which is the coating over top of your nerves in your brain, get demyelinated, and it actually almost behaves like you have multiple sclerosis. You can die from cardiac arrhythmias, you can die from asphyxia, or hypoxia and respiratory failure, not the right way to go. So don't do it, please. Family Guy does it again and again and again. Good topics to talk about. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out this playlist right here and binge watch everything. And as always, please make sure that you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button for me. Thanks so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.